Welcome to Stack Fitness Weekly. Today we're going to show you three compound movements that work the entire body. I have Glenn Pishing here from BodyWise and he's going to show you how to do each exercise. Glenn, can you discuss the benefits of these exercises? Yeah, we normally do compound movements. Normal training doesn't do a lot of muscle isolation in sports, so we try to work all the big muscle groups together to get bigger and stronger. You get a better workout, burn more calories, work the whole kinetic chain as a system instead of one muscle at a time. So what exercises are you gonna show us today? Today we're gonna to go over the deadlift, the double kettlebell clean and press, and the Turkish get up. We're gonna do the deadlift here. We want our feet close, closer than shoulder width apart. You wanna act like you're gonna jump to apply force to the ground to get the weight up. So I'm gonna reach down, arms are straight down, butts down, chest is up. Big breath in, pull the bar to your shins, drag it right up your shins, and pop your hips to the bar. Keep your weight on your heels as you're pulling through. Up the legs, heels. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try now. Glenn, can you coach me up as I go through it? Yes. Keep your feet pretty close, drag it right up the legs, hips back, good. So what we look for is to keep it close to the shins and getting the hips forward at the lockout. Feel like you're pulling backwards through your heels. You know, it should almost feel like you're gonna tip backwards at the top of the movement. Right up the shins and pop in the hips. Chest is up. Good. All right, so our second compound movement is gonna be the double kettlebell clean and press. So what we're gonna do is kinda get the kettlebell on the inside of our heel with our feet out a little bit in front of you. You're gonna grab the kettlebell and swing back and come up and clean. Elbows are tight, resting on your body, and then just press up. Back down in, swing back through, tight in, and press through. Andy, you wanna give it a try? Sure. Swing it back behind you. Keep your elbows in and tight to the body. So normally, yeah, we'll see people bending over a little bit farther than normal. Elbows are flared out a little bit and stay tight through the trunk as you're pressing. A lot of people won't try to swing back either. They'll just try to pull it straight up. All right, so our last Compound movement is going to be the Turkish get up. We're going to swing it back to a clean position. Press. You're going to step back with the opposite leg onto your knee. Pivot the foot. Drop the hand so it's supporting the bell. Thread your leg through, down to your elbow, to your back. Keep this leg up. You're going to push off of this leg into the arm, up to your hand. Elevate the hips, thread the leg through, come up, and stand up. All right, Andy, you wanna give this a try? Sure. Swing it back through to a clean, press, and then step back with your left, pivot that toe, post your hand, thread through, and back, good. And then push into that elbow, hips up, Thread the leg all the way back through and stand. Good, focusing on the kettlebell through the whole motion. So kick the foot back. A lot of people don't kick that foot back and get stuck. And push with that leg into the elbow. Thread it all the way back and stand. Thanks Glenn for showing us these three great compound movements. I'm Andy Haley and thank you for watching Stack Fitness Weekly.